Yeah, the desk is a little messy. It's also a little late at night. Um, because I kind of, kind of forgot to make a vid because a thing came in the mail today. I, I was just tired from work and I came home and started doing things. Ooh, oh, there's extras in here. Did I order extras and I don't remember? Well, let's pull the bag out first. And we'll try and figure out the rest. Ugh. Okay, so we got the July bag. And then one of the boxes in here is... Oh. Ugh. Maybe it just didn't fit in the bag. Now those both look like things I picked. So. Alright. Well, let's just go with these then. Okay, so first off... Dew of the Gods Clay Date. Haya Activated Pink Clay Mask. Well, I am a bit of a mask. Um, I don't want to say it. Yeah, let's just go with I do love a good face mask. So, sorry, I saw a hair on my camera stand that was distracting me. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, Dew of the Gods, a uh, clay date, is blessed by a Buddhist monk to inspire deep healing. I, I don't really know about that, but so I'm going to keep this wrapped up just for now because I have so I, <laughs> I've gone through so many of my bags like, oh my goodness, how much makeup do I actually have and skincare do I have that I haven't actually used and yeah, it's bad. So we're going to keep that right there for now. Um, the other thing it looked like it didn't fit in the bag was the manicure kit, which it looks like by the packaging I couldn't really stay shut either so all right so we got a filer oh it's a glass glass filer can't go wrong with that I do appreciate that they put the case with it sometimes these companies will mail you a glass file and then it doesn't have the greatest care with it so and then one of these is a thing and the other one is another thing. So this one is the cuticle oil. As I then go and drop it on the floor. <sighs> Why? Because I'm well let's let's just not go there. At least I didn't break the bottle. So that's nice. And then this one Now, ooh, ooh, what, what in blazes? Okay, so the top came off that. <gasps> well, that's just fabulous. Um, yeah, it looks like the top broke, and it was supposed to be the top coat stuff. Well, I will be right nipsy about that. I mean, it's clearly, clearly broken. That is fantastic. Hmm. So two out of three items. I'm just going to set that like right over there for now. So that's really disappointing. So, okay. Whew. And now my office reeks of nail polish. So we got the card, soak it all in. Sun Shimmer SPF this month, savor every moment, blah, 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 blah. Stash of Spare, valued at 120 bucks. I don't remember what the Misha kit was, but couldn't have been enough if the case broke. So, all right, let's go with this what do we got here we've got pear nova hydrating cream so is this a f okay so this is just regular lotion I, d I didn't know if it was a big bottle of you know shampoo or not shampoo but you know facial stuff or what it does smell very good though I'm not gonna open it though because I want to give it some time to 
decompress, as we all know. Um, some, sometimes these products tend to explode upon opening. So, um, let's see, what do we got here? Laura Geller Prep Stick. Oh, lip scrub. Well, yay me. I must have decided I needed another one. Hydrating avocado oil. I mean, I, yeah. It kind of looks like a little lipstick tube, to be honest. So I wouldn't mind packing this on overnight trips or something rather than my bigger jar of lip scrub. Um, this one, Screen Time Hydra Mist with Avic Green Tea and Rose Hip Oil. Well, of course, I'm just being a dork because, of course, Avic is French for with, and it says with slash Avic. So, this whole deal, shake well, hold bottle about 12 inches from spray, spray while eyes are closed. I mean, I do spend a lot of time in front of the computer because of my job, so I'm pretty sure that's one I picked. Um, and then this is Item Beauty Boost Juice Dual Ended Lash Primer. Oh, this was the... Okay, so this actually has two different colors. And one end is volumizing and the other end is lengthening. Um, pull me a tres. If I can even get it. <laughs> I know it says pull me at the top. And I get there are some, some nasty little mines out there. That would take that other, the other direction, but. And yes, I know how to read, but I couldn't get the top and I wasn't willing to break a nail, so. Here we go. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, if it hasn't become apparent, this is sticking around the house. This is not up for trades or anything. Alright. So, the other deal with this one, if I remember correctly, is besides if you wanted to volumize or lengthen your lashes underneath your regular uh, formula, You could also just use it as is on your lashes for a little I'm trying to show it there for a little pop of color, which, if I remember correctly, is why I picked it. So coolness. I do like this bag. It is cute. I mean, I have yet to get a not cute bag from um, Ipsy. But, okay, so we're going to stick all of that minus the nail thingy. Just taking another look at the, yeah, the broken piece of the bottle is actually in there. Well, that just... Sticky. That's just a bummer. Mm. Makes me question the integrity of this bottle as well. This I'm not questioning, but this I'm questioning because the other one came so badly damaged. But anyway, so short video, which is a good thing because it's late at night and I still have more things to do at the office tomorrow. Mm. But what else we got coming? Um, let me let me look at my little packaging list here. Yes, 
I actually keep a list of things I've ordered and things that are coming because otherwise I lose track. Which probably says I have a shopping problem. That might be true. Um, still waiting on Loot Crate for January, May, and of course now July. Um, they said it was supposed to come out. At the January and May boxes were supposed to come out this month or next month. I'm fitting with next month. Funko. The Amazon Funko. Uh, waiting on May. And now July. Haven't seen any spoilers for either one of those two, though, either, which makes me wonder. Um, the Unplugged Book Box. The uh, Limited Edition Summer Reads. That one... <coughs> pardon me. That one is scheduled to ship out August 6th through the 8th. So, um, yeah, it might be... Might be a few days for that one yet. Uh, once Oh, yeah, the Once Upon a Book Club. The July box. That's supposed to mail out at the end of July. Which, yeah, I know we're coming up on it. But things and stuff. So, and it will most definitely be the last box for Doki Doki. I like Doki Doki, but how much cute and cutesy stuff do I need? I really just wanted to finish the season. I mean, if you guys are new to my videos, my channel, you know that I have a, a little bit of a completionist thing. So like, usually if I'm reading a book series, I want the series all in the same format. I want, you know, I, I can't do hard covers in two different sizes. I mean, I can, but it's very difficult for me. I want them all in the same format, the same size, that kind of thing. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of the same way about subscription boxes. Like if I'm going to get rid of a box, let's wait until the end of a season. Um, or let's wait until the end of whatever series they're running through, like Loot Crate. I mean, honestly, that's the only reason why I still have it is because I have this need for completionism. And, and, uh, yeah, even though the last couple of boxes have not been that great. And let's be honest, last few boxes have not been that great. So most of the most of those boxes, unfortunately, end up in the, you know, I guess we'll sell this online and see if I can't get five bucks or ten bucks or whatever for it. Um, so the Loot Crate January 2022 box is anti-hero. Um, so Wolverine, Venom. I forget the other characters in there. Um, I was going to say Ultron, but he was just in the November box, so no, that's not right. Uh, March was the uh, Arcane, so that was Doctor Strange and Iron Fist. And, um, and then May is supposed to be Powerhouse, so She-Hulk, Hulk type stuff, which I love She-Hulk, and I do love Hulk, and I can't wait until the... The series in uh, in August, the She-Hulk series, and actually, speaking of that, there was a couple of new Marvel books that came out today, and I went and picked them up, and they're both uh, choose-your-own-adventure type things, so one of them is She-Hulk Goes to Murder World, and of course the other one is You Are Not, Deadpool. So I'm kind of looking forward to perusing through these and seeing how many different storylines I can hit. Um... And then July for Loot Crate is Wakanda-themed again, which, I mean, yay for Black Panther, but, man, there's been a lot of Black Panther stuff uh, the last few months, and I'm kind of over it. I like Black Panther, I do, but I think I now have, like, five Wakanda t-shirts or Black Panther t-shirts. Uh, it's too much. Um, yeah, now I'm just rambling, and... Probably because I'm tired. So, I'm going to take a quick picture of this uh, broken top coat bottle for Ipsy. Because um, I I don't know that I really want them to replace it. I think I'd rather get... I might just want credit with them. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So anyway, 
There will be some more boxes coming here shortly, and when I get them, I'll make another video. So in the meanwhile, I hope you guys all have a good night, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!